we Welcome go. back to the lab. This is it, the sexy little Asus EPC. Uh, easy, easy, and uh, entertaining, or something. Yes, like yes. Uh, hackable with an E. And hackable. It's a little, little two pounder. It's really cool. Uh, comes with Linux on it. That's right. But that wasn't good enough for Franklin Harris. No. He wanted to put Windows on it. I wanted to just be different. <laughs> Essentially, I, and I'm not a big Windows fan, but to be different, I figured, why not? I mean, it, they actually encourage it. In the manual, they encourage you sure. to install Windows. Comes with all the drivers. Uh, but Where Windows, are the drivers? They're on a little CD that comes with okay uh, with the triple EPC. They just doesn't buy. come with Windows because they don't want to pay for Windows. That's right. You could put it on if you That's had a right. copy. That's right. And there it is, Windows XP. Now, there, there are some things you have to do to make this work with Windows. There's actually a f quite a few things. Uh, this specific model only comes with four uh, gigabytes of uh, Hard drive. drive space, right? right. Flash space. It's a flash drive. drive. Yeah. Uh, and Windows is... Pig, let's be honest. It, right. it requires a lot of uh, a lot of space on the default install. So um, it, they do give you some general guidelines in the manual as to what to do, but it's nowhere near enough in order to get. Uh, so you Windows want to strip down, down Windows. You to want to really work. strip it down. So this is useful for anybody who wants to install Windows with less. Absolutely. I mean, this doesn't necessarily apply to this. This is just in general. Right. Um, there's a free program out there called Enlight. Enlight is and so cool. It's now, awesome. I, 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 people use Enlight to make slipstreamed installs That's of right. Windows. That's right. Where it's not just the Windows install disk, but uh, but updates, additional software. Additional software. Like you can put iTunes and VLC. But you in could do it the stuff. other way too. You could put less in. That's right. You could put less in. So um, I fired up Enlight here. And this is a free program. That's right. I told it where my I copied my uh, XP install CD onto my drive. Okay. Uh, it found it. Not a problem. Um, I have a. a, a, a preset of configuration that I use, uh, and we'll just go through it. So once you're there, you can sit there and say, yeah, I want to apply service packs. These are all the things any, you could turn on and off. That's right. Any um, hot fixes, additional drivers. So you could copy all the drivers from the onto install the disk install. onto the install. Uh, components, if I want it to run unattended, uh, any little bit of tweaks, nevertheless. We'll move so on. For instance, so, for instance, I know on the Asus you don't want to use a swap file. Can you make that part of the end no, light? That no, you'll you have to go do that after the fact. But what you can do in end light that you really should do for a device like this or any flash based device is um, turn off system restore. You don't need it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Remove system and that restore. will let you turn that off. That, absolutely. Okay. Remove any of the language packs. Uh, yeah, want to save it. space. Why? Any of the keyboard configuration. Unless can you, you want to say what work. services are in installed? In you can, absolutely. You can, um, you can go on and tweak everything. Um, at a so later you run this, point. and what you're so, going to do is it's going to help you build a directory with the install stuff that you need. That's right. And nothing more. That's right. So now we get into the really geeky stuff. So you can sit there and remove applications. Like, you know what? I don't need the briefcase. I don't need the calculator. Yeah. I, don't need, I don't need the defragger. Well, you do, but uh, I don't want Actually, paint. on a flash what? drive, you can't use a defragger. You can't, so. right. Um, I don't want paint or pinball. Right. I mean, all this stuff takes up, um, takes up a lot of space. You can get rid of, like, the, I don't need SCSI or RAID support for this, right. for this unit itself. How, now, without doing this, how big is Windows? Uh, it's about 600. The, the install ISO is about uh, just a little bit under 600 megs. Okay. And I was able to remove everything that was completely unnecessary and get it down to 233 megs. Wow. Right? That's a big And drop. that's including um, uh, service packs, hot fixes, uh, that's VLC stuff you did include. That I did include. It, uh, that's just taking stuff you don't that, need. That's out. right. Now, then you burn that to a CD. Burn that to a CD. Uh, it creates a bootable ISO for you. Uh, and you make an. You have to have an external. There's no CD drive. No CD, but it but works with an external a USB, USB CD, CD drive. That's right. You, just you plug can. it in. Um, I plugged it in. I started the process. Uh, once you burn the CD, you can give it uh, your your CD key, so it runs completely unattended. You know, it's a really neat program. It's, it's awesome. One uh, other thing that you did to this that probably everybody who wants to run Windows on this should do is add RAM. Yeah, I added RAM and I added an external uh, SDHC card, uh, an 8 gig SDHC so card. So this can be used as, as like Drive D? Uh, it, is, it, it comes That's up as drive, drive D. Absolutely. So you can put programs on here if you want to. Uh, yeah, what I've done is when I actually install software, you install I, it to D. I, I install it to D. I moved uh, the user variables for the temp directories to D. I moved my internet everything temporary files. Can. Everything I could because if I wear this card out, it's a lot easier to replace than, right. than to replace the internal flash right, memory. Right. Turn off system restore. Um, there's a bunch of other tweaks. We've got them all in the show notes. It's huge. Uh, How much document. RAM did you put in here? Two gigs? Uh, there's all the two way gigs, yeah. That's two gigs. the max. Yep, that's but the now max. look at the size of this. It's a really small Windows yeah. PC. And, and it, it runs great. It really, it's got surprisingly. Speakers. It's got speakers. got a camera. Does the camera work? Camera works. Absolutely. Uh, microphone works. works, so you could use Skype. Everything works. That's yeah. pretty cool. Everything works. And it's $400. It's a very inexpensive, yeah. I think a good choice for a student, lightweight PC, and, and especially when you get 
get Windows on there, there's nothing you can't do. I've been using it exclusively for two weeks for email and, and reading my RSS feeds and I'm, surfing. I have one. I use it for Linux. You think I should put Windows on this? Uh, no, keep Linux on. I, I like Linux. Yeah. I mean, you I know just, what? This is pretty fast. Yeah, it, it has Wi Fi built fast. in. Has Wi Fi built in. Okay. Um, Look at that. That's pretty cool. I added Bluetooth to it as well. I'm amazed. Yeah. I'm amazed. It snaps up. Yep, yep. Boots really quickly. More details on this, the Enlight program, and the things you can turn on and off are on our website, labwithleo.com. You want to see more of this kind of thing, this is the guy to do it. He has a, his own uh, video show on the Internet. It's called digitalunderground.tv. Check it out at digitalunderground.tv. More of your calls coming up. Look how fast that popped up. Yeah, it's, that's actually really it's, great. It's surprisingly fast. More of your calls coming up in just a bit. You stay right here.